We've got another story about people making deals every day. The moms we're about to meet literally save thousands of dollars a year. You might call them a little extreme. Earl it. Hi, it's Joni and Heather from thecrazycouponlady.com. Heather and Joni were college roommates. Heather. Joni. Pink or green? No. <laughs> yes. Fresh out of school and with young families, they were tired of spending hundreds of dollars a month feeding their flock. Actually make a penny. That's when these best friends started couponing and lowered their bills by 80%. This is exciting. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> they wanted to share what they'd learned, so they started a blog to help other women save, too. So you just take each insert and put it into its own sheet protector. Little did they know, their grassroots movement would go viral, racking up 5 million visitors a month. People are upset leading to a role on the TLC hit show, Extreme Couponing, and a recent book. Welcome, Heather and Joni. So, let me, let me figure this out. You, this, this has become a big deal. You guys have this website that literally helps people learn how to coupon in a way that will save a lot of money. Ton of money. We yeah. have the coolest job ever. I mean, this is what you do. You find coupons. Where do you find it's all these? It's not all we do. <laughs> it's most of what we do. <laughs> Besides, you know, making babies and taking care of them. That's okay. also what we do. All right. Just taking. But this got so big that you actually ended up on this TLC pilot about this couponing thing. Right. Well, we had been couponing for a couple years actually, and the production company kind of started having the conversation with us about what could we do on TV with coupons, which we were so excited about, but I still sometimes think it's a joke. I'm like, Heather, remember how there's actually a show about coupons on Just TV? Just about coupons. <laughs> so. well, and it's, but I mean, it, it really did. It, this is a show that's on television now, right. and it's all about this, and you guys were a part of that pilot. So it, does it strike you as odd that it is so, such a big deal for some people? You know, I mean, it is a big deal, and I think the great thing about the show is that it really draws attention to something that people have said, ah, oh, never mind, that's not worth my time. I can only save a nickel or a dime or 50 cents yeah, here and there. Yeah, what is the stigma? Because I'll admit, even I, would, I wouldn't I would take coupons that save 25 cents, but if you told me I could go to a car lot and save $2,000, I'd say, sign me up. Right. But if you save enough quarters, you get to $2,000. People think that coupons are for poor people, but the interesting thing is there are statistics that actually show that the average income of someone who prints coupons at home is in the six figures. So it's simply not the case. Really? I remember the first time I handed over a coupon, I was kind of embarrassed. I didn't know. I was like looking behind me like, I hope somebody doesn't see. I mean, there is that stigma, but I think once you're saving literally thousands of dollars a year, it's empowering, really. So this, what is this binder? Is this <laughs> coupons? Yes. This is, this all of is coupons. my well-loved uh, coupon binder, and I think it's time to upgrade to a new binder. But, but wait, you take, the, you know, I don't know if we can get it, I'm gonna hold this up. You take <laughs> this to the, to the store? Why do you say it like that? <laughs> you literally walk into the store yes. with this, well, because this, I would not want to be the guy behind you. So here's how. In the line. That's why we named our book Pick Another Checkout Lane Honey. Really? Yeah. So this is a, okay, I'm, I know I'm seeming a little shocked, but I had no idea you literally stand in line with your shopping cart and say, oh, hold on, that's page Oh, no, no, no. So you organize before you get there. Here's what separates me from, like, your grandma who clipped coupons. Okay. Okay, and this is what makes the difference between saving a quarter and saving $2,500. You can save $2,500. We save thousands a year. Anyone can do it. So it's all about not just using a coupon. If I clip the 25 cent off coupon, I take it to the store, I match it with the product, and I buy it, whoop de doo I didn't really do anything. What we're doing is we're saving our coupons, and you can use a binder or a more simple method like a file box. And the crazy coupon lady shows you, like, here's what's on sale at Target. Or crazy Coupon Lady is your guys. That's, that's our website, and there are other great websites just like ours doing the same thing. So do you find that you buy things that you might not have bought if you didn't have the coupon? No. So that, and that's one of the, I mean, that's one of the myths about couponing, and that's one of the unfortunate side effects of the TV show. People see people buying, oh, they bought three carts of cat litter, and they made $2. How exciting. And they don't even have a cat. <laughs> I mean, that's what people are doing right. on TV yeah. because they're trying to achieve that huge and then, savings And number. then they're on hoarders next no, week. I know, I know. So, and there's that analogy that I hate because stockpiling, which means 
buying a little bit more than you need now, buying enough for three or four months, is something that we really advocate. Yes, but buying things that your family actually uses. Because yeah. cat litter does us no good if we don't have cats. Right. So we're only buying things that we actually use. We're just buying five of them instead of one. Is there a, <laughs> is there, you know how runners get that runner's high? Yeah. Is there a high that comes when you really score a great <laughs> coupon deal? Yes, there really is. I mean, there's like such the ad like an actual adrenaline rush. It when should you... be studied scientifically. Oh, it, oh, it has be. been. It's called, the, no, it has been. <laughs> the dopamine release, yes. when you're getting that high of something that makes you feel significant, and then you want it again, which so is how you end up with a binder <laughs> like this. <laughs> Like what you said, that you would go to a car lot and you'd get a discount there. And women can relate. If they're shopping online, they'll use a coupon code. And when you got a deal for the sweater you're wearing, you feel like you look even better than if you paid full price for that sweater. Yeah. So what people don't understand is the same thing is happening at the grocery store. The food actually tastes better. That's what she's saying. <laughs> really? All right. Absolutely. Fewer calories. And <laughs> we did an experiment. We each had 100 bucks. And we went out to see how much we could get. We sent somebody from our show, and they sent somebody. Who? Which one of you went? That was me. Okay. <laughs> and Heather went from their show. When we come back, we will show you the results. Good job. You guys are great bouncing off each other. We've been together for a long time. Let's see what you guys did. Oh, much. much oh, two parts. <laughs> really? We're talking about saving a lot of cash by doing something that I think a lot of people do, probably more than I realize, cutting coupons. It's really evolved from, as you said, when my mom or, or your grandma would cut a little coupon out. Your, your, your men are with you. What do you guys make of this? Because it's not a thing that guys typically do, right? Right. Um, it's been something that... I've had to learn. Heather has taught me um, how to how to do things. She sent me on a few trips, and I was really nervous. What are you like nervous about? After, just you see the scenario on the computer, and and you you see all the math, and you see how it matches up, and then you go to the store, and you have to grab the right products, and make sure you have those. But then you go to the register, and you see it ticking up and up and up, and then you hand them the coupons. And you, I hope, you know, I only have 2 or $3 in my pocket. That's not what the register says. So then they start scanning the coupons, and it comes down. And you walk out of there going, how did I just do this? This is amazing. Do you guys bond over this? Is this the kind of thing you, you say, hey, dude, dude, I saved 52 bucks. How'd you do yesterday? Oh, yeah, yeah, we call each other up all the time. Say, hey, I had to score some free bacon. You got to go to the store now. And... Seriously, like, the only time I can get him to go couponing is one time I had a coupon for free bacon. He was, like, out the door, gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a theme on this show. You got to you got to teach us. You have to teach us by giving us that reward, yeah. that incentive. Okay, so we did this competition. It was a hundred bucks. That was it. We sent somebody from our staff. They're not a couponer. They're nothing. They're not a great shopper. They're just a person. They spent a hundred dollars. We both had the same basic list. We're gonna show you what we got. Hundred bucks. Roll it out, guys. Okay, this looks pretty familiar, right? Hundred bucks is not much. All right, let's head over there. Right. Take a look at this. So this is ours, hundred dollars. We got a good shot of this. It's <laughs> it's about a third of the way full. Yep. All right. Looks bring, like a typical hundred dollar card. Bring your card out. Let's see what you guys did. Ah, oh, much, much. Oh, two cards. <laughs> really? Really? Really. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Go ahead and take on the other. So there's no, there's no scam here. There's no nothing. This is really doing the same. We all went for the same thing. Cereals, chips, bread, kind the of basics. Kind of staples. And you know, one of the biggest differences between what your staff member did and what we did, and one of the biggest things that a couponer has to pay attention to is not shopping around what you want to eat this week, but shopping around what's on sale. And it doesn't, eventually it's going to pay off. But essentially, instead of making a menu and then going and buying all of those things, you're gonna look at what's on sale mm. this week. You're gonna come to the crazy coupon lady and we're gonna show you and then you're gonna shop for those things. And even though this week, your first week, you kind of have to pick from what's here, as you shop week to week, you'll end up having that little stockpile. So you'll still be able to have all of the options. But shopping around what's on sale is huge. So what are the, if you had to pick two or three things, if, if, I, was, if I was really gonna go do this and I'm new to it, Give me the key points to look out for. So one of the biggest things that a lot of people don't know is you can actually stack coupons. 
So you can use a store coupon with a manufacturer coupon on the same product to save, I mean, to save huge. So let's say you have a, a thing of granola bars. You can use the store coupon and the manufacturer coupon. So if, if you have a coupon that you printed or you got out of the Sunday newspaper and then you see one in the stores like weekly There's circular, no limit, then. you can use them together. So a lot of people don't know that you can okay, do so that. Okay, so double up on the coupons. Double up on the coupons. And another thing, you know, we use, uh, we bought some things that were part of like a 10 for 10 sale. Well, I didn't want 10. Well, the thing is the store does that to encourage you to buy 10, but you don't actually have to. They're priced at a dollar each. So it's like the same. Oh, really? So you still get the same price? You still get the same price. Now I you can have a that. price check to make sure, but oftentimes, usually you don't have to buy 10. Okay, so buy what you need, don't overbuy. Don't overbuy. Okay. And, One more. And another thing that a lot of, this is really surprising to a lot of people, but we actually buy the smaller packages of things. So if you have like the little jar of peanut butter, we want to buy that instead of the huge, massive size. You actually save more when you apply the coupon. Your like price per ounce becomes a lot cheaper. So let's say the big peanut butter is $8, the small one's $2. So on the shelf, the big one is less per ounce. But let's say we have a dollar off coupon that we can use on either jar. This one's going to become one dollar, where this one's seven. So you're actually going to get a better deal on the smaller item. Once you guys are good at this. Us. I'm oh, yeah. quite impressed. My high school math teacher be proud. Nice job. <laughs> you're putting those skills to use. Thanks for sharing that. You kicked our butts. All right. If you're looking to start making a deal, you can visit thecrazycouponlady.com. That's with a K, right? Yep. All right. To help you get you started, ladies, thanks for being up here. Thank you. Guys on the couch is next.